Hey boys and girls, Ken Smith, Ken Smith Fishing. Welcome to our uh, newly finished kitchen. It's very nice. I'll give y'all a tour pretty soon. But uh, for now, I'm gonna tell you this is gonna be an awful video. Uh, you know, <laughs> it's a video of two guys who are just truthfully pretty lost on a lake uh, when we thought we were gonna catch them. So that part of this video is terrible. But unlike some other videos you've watched on YouTube, where it's the uh, dead body in the back of the pocket or uh, what was one of the other ones, big fight on the water that is just pure clickbait. I'm going to tell you, and I'm going to put it right at the front of this video. I'm going to show y'all something that happened to us on the water. That is the most unbelievable thing I've ever had happen to me on the water from another boater. It just, it's going to blow you away. So here it is. Check this out. All right, so we're just sitting here spot locked and this guy just keeps coming and keeps coming and keeps coming. Now I've sped this up 4X, so this is, this is taking a while, but he is, he looks at us, he's watching us, he just keeps coming. <laughs> and at one point he says, are y'all in that tournament? And we're like, yeah, we're in that tournament. He keeps coming. And you're going to see right here, I can't, there, there comes a point here in a second, he pull, he's going right over where we're trying to fish. We can't even cast anymore. And you're going to see me walk to the back of the boat here in just a second and hit the, 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 the recorder because I want to make sure that I capture all this on, uh, on film. Because this thing, I'm, you know, I do five-minute loops. So I know if I don't capture it, uh, we're not going to be able to have the whole thing. But I have no idea what's about to happen here in the next couple seconds. Oh, and also apologies for the uh, fruity language upcoming here. got lucky Terry didn't get hurt or bust rods or both. I've just never seen anything like this before in my life. The guy never made any effort. So here's my commentary just a couple minutes later. After they were out of earshot at this point, I've, my temper's done, And but here's my comments. Okay, two last things. So the guy says to Terry right there, he goes, you need to get that. He hadn't made any effort. And and then he still, Terry's still laying down, has to push off the guy's boat. I, it's, it's the most uncourteous thing I've ever seen on the water. And I've seen, I've fished big bass tournaments. I've seen a bunch. So one of my buddies, one of my buddies is Kevin Reed. Kevin is retired playing golf in Florida, but Kevin will confirm with you that is not the same Ken Smith Kevin used to fish with. Because the old Ken Smith would have lost his fucking mind right there. I have had guys get close to me. I've never had a guy bump boats. He even said, are y'all in the tournament? Uh, no. That's unbelievable. Alright, that's the high point of this day. I'm going to show you all the rest of the fishing, kind of what we went through, but it was bad. And what's really frustrating is it was bad. 
and Ryan Glass and his partner caught 34 pounds to win this tournament. They crushed them. Now, interestingly, looking at the results, it was very much the haves and the have-nots. I mean, one team had two fish for 19 pounds or something like that. So there was a few great big bites, but uh, obviously I think Ryan in the TTT tournament a week or two earlier, he had 28 pounds. So he's obviously got it dialed in. He also spends a tremendous amount of time putting out brush on that lake, uh, probably as much, if not more than anybody else. So that's a dude who's earning his keep. That's a dude who's winning money because he's working hard at it. So congratulations to he and his partner for that. That was a really impressive stringer on a day that we were truly clueless. So. Um, Anyway, here's the fishing footage. Good morning. We're back at Rooks and Chambers, hopefully for some payback. Here's the old two-stroke island in the background. That's a sound you hear all the time. We're all jammed up in here. We're about 16 this morning, so we're going to see what we can catch. We've got some storms around us. That storm here a little while ago. Some bad stuff just south of us. What do you think, Hawkins? I think my daughter's eating from college, A&M, and uh, ready to go fishing. <laughs> All right, I'm going to tell a story on Hawkins since he brought it up. <laughs> go ahead and say it. <laughs> so at their first football, Terry has never been a big collegiate fan, football fan, for sure. Uh, the Oklahoma State horseshoe in school, and we didn't have a team. <laughs> right, so uh, explain what happened at the first football game when you saw all those jerseys. Well, actually, it was my daughter. She uh, she said, how come everybody's wearing number 12? You know, she didn't know what the deal was, so, which is the 12th man, of course. But, yeah, it was a learning experience for both of us because I never kept up with anything like that. So it's pretty cool, though. And now he's giving me a hard time when A&M beats Arkansas. I mean, all he's doing is paying a little bit of money to A&M. It's like $1,000 yeah. a year going there, right? Yeah, it's something like that. <laughs> We're going fishing, guys. Stick with us. I am fully as scared of lightning, and let me tell you something, this was, <laughs> I was not enjoying this boat ride, that is one ominous looking little cloud right there in front of us, and you can tell we are running right to it. Bye bye, here comes the rain. Alright, well during our first, oh! 20 minute rain delay I caught one about three and a half and Terry caught a two pounder on top water so man I don't like that Ooh. Quick morning update, so it's about 8.20. We're on our second or third spot. Uh, we got three in the box. Terry just caught a short fish on the crank. And Terry just caught a yellow bass on the crank. Terry's totally confused. He's live scoping yellow bass up there. But, uh, We've been dodging some. Most of the really ugly wetters avoided us. A couple of scary spots there, but we got three. We got two keepers and one about three and a half. Uh, all did both years come on top water? Yeah. All of them come on walking baits. I think. Oh, one on Carolina rig. Oh, that's right. One on Carolina rig, two on the top bait, top water baits. Anyway. So that's where we're at. We need some good bites. We'll get some. We'll get some. It's 11 o'clock and it ain't happening for us. We have bounced around. We fished everything we want to fish. We've not been crowded by anybody. And we ain't caught them. 
it does not want to bite for us. So I think we're going to scrap this and go to the other end of the lake. Because even the bites we're getting are little fish. Really thought we were going to whack them today. A lot of sand bass bites. Bump on that sinker out there. We gotta do something different. Hawkins is laughing at me. I mean, he come up there with intents of eating it too. That's unreal. All right, and we tried. We went, we went cranking. We cranked brush piles. We we threw worms in brush piles. We tried a whole bunch of different stuff, and and again, it just it didn't work for us. Don't know what's going on. A couple of guys who fished around us did pretty well. Uh, I mean, who knows? So anyway. For sticking around, I've got one little treat for y'all right here at the end of this video from a prior video that I think you'll enjoy. So uh, I'm going to show you the uh, our one decent fish, and then I'm going to show you a little treat right here in about a minute. So here we go. That was the high point of the whole day right there. Big, long, skinny post spawner on the top water to start today. So, uh, so last time we were here, I tried to show y'all something. And, uh, well, let's just go through it. So, catch me if you dare, because, in fact, that is, well, you can read it for yourself. <laughs> so, interestingly, we, uh, we saw him on the main lake. I don't know how the guy fishes, because there were girls running down on their docks and throwing garments at him. I'm assuming they were, you know, but we could see clothes flying through the air getting thrown at him. So... <laughs> I, I gotta tell you, yeah, I'm telling you, that's a Steve Evans motor cover right there. I don't know how we don't have one for him. <laughs> oh, media pass and Richard Chambers. We stunk. <laughs> All right, that wraps it. Sorry guys, didn't do so well. Uh, don't know that we'll have another video this week, but we'll get out hopefully sometime in the next week and get some video shot up. Uh, of actually some fish catches and we'll show y'all through those uh, when we get it done. So thanks for tuning in and we'll, uh, we'll see y'all soon.